Hello everyone. Go ahead and lean your seat back, as today's flight gives you the perfect chance to unwind. We've got the most skilled pilots in control. But stay sharp anyway, and let's get it on. Whoa, just 10 inches more and it would have been the wildest accident ever. Doing 700 miles per hour at extremely low altitude is not a problem for this guy. It had The landing might not have been the smoothest, but the pilot's skills and the passenger's luck kept everyone safe and sound. What? Bro, that is not funny! That is not funny! That is not funny, man! I was too... Always remember the number one rule of the pilot. Never pull the door handle during flight. Thankfully, he held on to the door, and the co-pilot safely landed the plane. I'm sure this lesson will stick with them for life. Alright, door's closed. We're gonna have to see this one. Well, we got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is what acceleration to transonic speed looks like. You won't find a race cooler than this in any Fast and Furious movie. The laws of physics are the best way to deal with free riders like that. That rare moment when you can wave to the pilot from the next plane, and he will see it. While many planes require a completely flat runway, the massive C-17 doesn't mind a bit of uneven terrain. Relax, it's just fog caused by the difference in humidity inside and outside, but it does look like flying right over Silent Hill. During the flights, this Cessna suddenly had an engine failure, so the pilots had to urgently land the plane right on the roadway.
Dealing with the winds in southern Argentina can be tricky for newbie aviators. But luckily, there's a seasoned pro in control. This plane is so huge that it can literally cut clouds by just flying through them. Just think about the sheer might of the Boeing 777 engine. It can smash through a multi-ton truck as if it's nothing more than a soft pillow. Another reminder that you shouldn't panic, even in the most terrible situation. Despite the stalled engine, the guys stayed cool and managed to bring the plane down smoothly. Great job! B-2 pilots don't often have much to worry about, but having four F-22s nearby definitely boosts their confidence. How much runway does a plane need for takeoff? With this pilot in control, just several feet are enough. He holds the world record for the shortest takeoff. He also set a record for the shortest landing. If you haven't witnessed a car drop from a height of a few hundred meters, now is the chance to check it out. Coming up next is a video that's straight out of a Bond movie. Watch as a helicopter drops off a sports car at the peak of a fort in Croatia. These guys pulled off a perfect landing on an aircraft carrier during a crazy storm. Is there anything they can't do? Great sound, stunning views and capable piloting. What could be cooler than launching a fighter from the deck of an aircraft carrier? Only a spectacular landing like this. It makes transporting an entire plane look easy, but when you think about it, 28 tons is nothing for the largest production helicopter in the world. Like
Like in a typical action flick, the most badass soldier touches down and finishes the mission before the main crew even shows up. The most expensive and most spectacular cargo delivery in the world. Any idea what kind of flying object it is? It's just an Airbus A380, and due to the high humidity over the South China Sea, it created a surprisingly big trail. The pilot seems to have gone straight from the drift car to the cockpit. It's one of those times where flying could be considered an art. This guy found out that lots of bird populations in Europe are vanishing because their habitats are getting wrecked. To address the problem, he stepped up and used his small plane to help birds in finding safe migration paths. Hats off to people like him. When the humidity is just right and the sun's rays hit at the perfect angle, amazing things can happen in the sky. This dude was trying to make us believe he could alter an airplane's aerodynamics using only his hand. But the stick gave the co-pilot away and ruined the whole trick. The F-16 engine test seems like something out of a sci-fi movie with awesome special effects. It's crazy how much cooler firefighting seems when they bring in airplanes. Of course, repairing high voltage wires at such a height is not an easy task. But just think about the challenge for a pilot trying to keep a helicopter steady through it all. This is what the landing strip looks like from the cockpit in winter weather. Pretty vibrant, right?
Just so you know, touching down in a desert or dusty area requires its own unique set of skills. Thanks to the pilots, the whole place is going to be in the dark for the whole day. Having two engines up in the air can be a lifesaver. In fact, this happens when the rotation speed of the blades matches up with the frame rate. Flying in lousy weather has its perks too. Thanks to the rain, you get a really good view of how the reverse thrust works. Formula One isn't just about racing fast cars, it's also a place to catch an amazing air show.